Hey there, YouTube! Are you ready for a product review? A negative atheist asking the age-old question, Is this thing worth my money? Hello there, YouTube! It's a negative atheist here, and I am doing yet another product review. Uh, this time, I am reviewing an airbrush uh, paint booth. So what this product does and is designed to do in your airbrushing models um, or whatever you're airbrushing, canvas or, or whatever, you're spraying, that overspray is going to come out and all the atomized paints and thinner and whatever you happen to have in there, this product is designed to suck it out of that filter and out away from you and out of your breathing area. I really needed one of these because I have a cockatoo, and cockatoos are extremely sensitive to chemicals or, or anything like that in the air, so I didn't want to cause her any harm. I wanted to make sure we have a good filtering system uh, with that. So I'm going to go over a couple of the product specifications here. This one is, uh, I think I paid $119 for this on Amazon. Uh, it was on Prime Free Shipping for me. It does come with this little uh, turntable wheel thing, if you will, um, which is nice. It's got rubber feet on it, uh, but this is, it's fairly cheap. You can see it, uh, the top and bottom spin independently of each other, which is of course how it works, the rubber feet. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of like free floating, but it'll be nice to be able to put a model on there, mount it, and be able to 360 it while you're spraying it so you don't have to go and build or buy something separate it just comes with it so um, definitely nice to have not necessary but nice to have you can always take it out um, just use the space given to you here uh, these are quite large I'm surprised um, just by how large it is I have uh, here's an airbrush pretty typical sized airbrush here um, just to kind of show you size uh, here's my hand it's laying on one of those panels so um, I don't know they're a good six inches each so I'd probably say a good foot uh, maybe two foot and a half something like that um, in there you got to actually have a ruler here Give me one second. Pretty close. So that kind of gives you that idea. And I'm sure the dimensions are posted online. Um, total width there. Over 16 inches. Not a bad size. Um, I do like this a lot. I haven't actually used it yet. I have uh, got it all set up as you can see, turned it on. Now, this is portable. It turns down to about a briefcase size. It's kind of heavy. I don't know really a situation where I would be porting, or porting it around. Um, and really, there's, there's a lot of different types of these boxes around. A lot of people like to make their own. They used to be really expensive. So now that this one is out, and this, this particular one uh, is associated with the master brand it's a little logo um, and I know some people have seen this and they call it a, a no-name brand this one's definitely master um, you know I, I would say this is a pretty pretty good product I would rather buy this for 119 and they have some even cheaper closer to around 70 dollars um, Honestly, I think that it's going to be safer and better to use than making one myself, which is kind of why I decided to go this route. I started to make one myself first, and as I was going, going through that process, just because I have the cockatoo, I didn't want to risk 
injury to the bird. So here's the model number on this one. You can see all of that. Shows you the cubic meters per minute. And all of that, 25 decibel noise. And oh yeah, it shows you the dimension stick. So that. Now those dimensions there are going to show you the full expanded version all the way to the back. And this back piece here is um, the motor and the fan and all that. Um, now I already have this all plugged in. I currently have paper towel fixed to the back. Uh, it does come with this outlet piece. It's a, a fan holder in here which I can show you just twists on and off. It's a little tight still because it's brand new. And just got it on there. Um, you can see it's got these little twist on hooks all around there. They just twist on to this fan grate. I don't know a lot to see back here, but Let's see how that works. Uh, now I mounted the silicone part um, that goes onto this. It comes with the, this exhaust port, the silicone piece here that has tape on it, and this thing. And it comes with two filters. There's a pre and post filter in here. I know some people have removed it. Um, but I'm going to use them both, just because I want the extra layer of protection for the bird. You can see it's got both there. Got that great behind there to keep everything in place, nice and snug. It's real easy to remove and, and reinsert. I won't have any issues cleaning that. Um, may get some more in the future, but who knows. And then it comes with this hose here, which I've already fixed to the outlet piece. Um, these screw in, just like uh, like a dryer hose kind of connector here. So it's kind of got a screw shape. You just screw one end in. It has to be extended um, like so. And this extends. It says to six feet on Amazon. It really doesn't go to six feet. I would say. I measured it up to myself, maybe, maybe if I'm stretching it five feet. Um, and then of course that can screw into this silicone piece that I have all covered up. You can kind of see the screw ring there. Um, but yeah, so when it's not rainy outside, which it seems to be exquisitely raining um, considering it's June, I don't have any windows down here in the studio. But I do have a door right there, um, my unfinished basement floor. So we'll be able to just slide that over there and uh, out the door, and not have to worry about the paper towel situation. I just have that in for right now. So uh, I think this is a good product. I think that uh, the airflow is really nice and it's definitely something I'm going to use a lot. Um, but the main reason you're going to get this product is for the fan and sometimes noise can be a concern. I would say um, I've heard mixed reviews online before I bought this. Uh, some people said that it was noisy, some people said that it wasn't. Um, you can see again on here it says it's 45 decibels of noise. I don't think that it's very loud personally uh, when it comes to you know, recording video and audio. I normally have a microphone set up. I don't right now because my studio is still kind of in shambles, but uh, we're getting there. So um, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. This is also the one with the LED feature. You can see the LED light bar here. Now there's one up top. And it runs down both sides. And it's just an easy power switch. Some of them have the adapter here, some of them have a retractor button here, and the cord will actually come out of here. Uh, this one, of course, has the adapter that plugs in here, and this is just a storage for the adapter. So 
So it really depends on which one you buy. You can kind of look at which features you want. There's a lot of different price points for this one. Uh, this one has the external adapter, has the LEDs, which are kind of important to me, and then um, all the filter hoses, which I definitely wanted to get the exhaust out of the room for the birds. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's just a flip of the switch here. You see the lights come on right away. They're pretty bright, uh, no bluishness or anything like that. Uh, and you can kind of hear the fans start going. And it is a little loud, but I mean, when compared to an airbrush pump and everything, they're pretty similar uh, if you get a like actual airbrush compressor. And it's steady, so they're not cutting in and out or um, you're not getting a fluctuation in noise. I don't think with the microphone set up, I'm gonna have any problems uh, recording video with this or anything like that and if you're not recording video really the noise is arbitrary it's conversational level at best uh, i wouldn't really worry too much about the sound level so it does uh, have pretty decent suction i put this bag back here too just um so you can catch some of the anything residual that still comes out once again i've got to so um, there's that go ahead and turn it off it's quiet pretty quick, but uh, there is the photo box, or the airbrush box, and my review. I'd say buy one. I have attached affiliate links for this product in the description below. I do, full disclaimer here, get a commission from Amazon at no additional charge to you. So please, if you feel like buying this product, use that to support this channel and future content. Uh, I am not sponsored in any way by this product or its parent company, and the opinions here are solely my own, and you can use them as you will. Thanks as always. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more future content, and I will see you in the next one.